one must not forget that the mighty river began softly, one on a solo piano and the other in trickling water. The stream's journey ends in the mightiness of its diversity, very comparable to the film unit buzzing with all the members, functioning like a giant mind which encompasses doubts and conflicts, trust and mistrust, hate and love. The giant of a collective mind may be incomprehensible. The director is its commander-in-chief. She ceases to have a heart at this stage. She's now a great planner, plotting an intricate execution. Since it is difficult to understand the intricacies of a communal mind, let's trace our steps to the source. There, a person sits in a half-lit room. The light beside her could be a table lamp or even a candle. She holds in her hand either a pen or a paintbrush in solitude. She ponders alone. She has learned to be alone. That is the main reason she can see the final film, edited and adorned with sound and music. In her mind's eye, whenever she wishes to. She is the director. We went in search of the director's mind, its many aspects, its varied nuances, its diversity we have looked for and collected. Those gems we have polished and strung into a colorful necklace. This necklace is the director's mind. If one reads through the book to the final chapter, one can visualize and perceive the intricate pattern of the necklace. Thank you. I'd like to thank uh, Navanita Abhi who gave us a glimpse into the, uh, an insight into the very old beginnings of uh, Bengali literature and cinema and to Gautam who took us right to the modern day and uh, then we heard this uh, lovely introduction to the book. So uh, I have to just comment that our previous book launch was Memories Gold. And I think we have a cinema going on inside all our heads, you know, from our past uh, memories and from our experiences and the whole thing comes together in the expression of what we see on celluloid. Thank you so much and may I now request uh, the publishers, Mr. C.K. Mehra and Mr. S.K. Mehra to present small tokens of appreciation and to give the vote of thanks. A very good evening. Hello. A very good evening to the Honorable Governor Shri Gopal Krishna Gandhi, Srimati Gandhi. Srimati. Just take a pause. Shri Ujjwal Chakraborty and all the distinguished guests gathered here today. The United States presidential elect recently made a statement that if you're walking down the right path, and willing to keep walking, we'll eventually make progress. And with the publication of the book, The Director's Mind, we, Alchemy Publishers, are willing to walk down a new path. When the author told us about the concept of a book where the work of the masters is used as a pedagogical instrument, is used as a pedagogical instrument to help budding filmmakers understand the nuances of cinema, we were completely sold on the idea of publishing it. And we are very proud to have been associated with this book, which is a rare gem. As the Honorable Governor put it, it's a result of laborious research and deep insight not usually seen in this world of rapid mass production. This book, ladies and gentlemen, is the first we've planned in this series of meaningful cinema and the arts. We are planning to publish a book by Sri Gautam Ghosh, one of the acclaimed film directors of our time, and who's present with us today. Sri Ghosh will share with us his interactions with people over time, his experiences of traveling all over the world, from bare mountains to bustling metropolises from his, his life in riverbanks and his love for people, which is so often seen in cinema. And very soon we'll be able to read about them. 
we have also planned to publish a set of his collection of photographs which he's personally taken in the form of travel guides. Another book on the horizon is a set of virtually unknown screenplays written by the legendary Satyajit Ray. These works, lost in time, once revived, we believe will make for very interesting reading and filmmaking. Another book on the horizon is on the insightful Aparna Sen, where, she, where we showcase her creativity. This book traces her roots from her childhood in Shillong to the present day to 15 Park Avenue. We hope to continue to receive your support and blessings. Thank you for all being present here today. Our special thanks to uh, the Honorable Governor who was here with us and our esteemed uh, guests from the film and literary fraternity. Thank you Oxford Bookstore and uh, Mena Bhagat and the rest of the team who helped make this event possible. Have a great evening ahead. Namaskar. The stress at having to leave, but he had another appointment. <coughs> the book is on sale today at a 10% discount. And you can have it signed by the author. And then please join us for tea. Thank you. Signed copy. The books are right here.